Hello traders and welcome to tradingwithbill.com. I'm Bill. We're in Thailand. Hey, it looks like it's going to be a nice day today. Looks like the uh, skies are blue and uh, maybe we won't get no rain. <laughs> That'll be a change. Hey, just take a look around and look at the dollar index. Dollar index is down. It's actually at 94.25, but not below the 94 mark, which is a good thing uh, on a Monday. So we've got a full trading week ahead. Let's take a look at what we have data-wise today as we move around here. Um, <laughs> not much. Existing home sales out of the U.S. And, uh, yeah, existing home sales month on month and then for June. And pretty much that is it. Looks like a technical trading day today uh, on a Monday, which is not unusual. Um, we do see it probably more than we don't see it, right? That we have on a Monday, we have technical trading days. So let's take a look at what happened in uh, New York on Friday. I was not around. But if we take a look here, we can see on our oil, oil is at 68.24. Folks, this is just an opportunity to buy oil. Okay, oil's not going to stay here forever in this 60 area. Um, you know, I don't think it's going back to 60 or, you know, I don't think it's going down that low. I think this is just an opportunity to go up. I, I think um, we've had three days now of green candles and it's sideways. I mean, really, it's sideways. There's no higher lows or higher highs or nothing like that. So I think oil's just going to mingle around here and then it's going to head, head up to the upside. Uh, next up, we got the dollar index. As you can see, it's down. Um, I'm seeing it 94.47 on this chart, and looks like it's going down. It's at a resist, um, a support area though, so we'll surely keep an eye on that. If you take a look next to that, it's gold. Gold actually had um, two days of an up move here. Um, so gold is on its way up, but really it's still down. It's at 115.12 on gold. Take a look at the VIX. The VIX uh, is currently at 1286. I'm, I'm really excited that this VIX is staying above the 10 and the 11 area. We're staying in this 12 area. I think this looks like this is going to head to the upside. It looks like we're going to continue to stay in the 12, 13 um, area for the rest of the summer. That would be great, right? We'd like to see that volatility. Um uh, the ESs are sideways, really, you know, really not doing nothing, just really hanging out, uh, doing nothing. The euro had a couple of days on, on the 6E, the euro futures, a uh, higher high, higher low on two candles. However, we're coming up to some significant resistance right now, so we'll see what happens here. I would assume that that's because the dollar index took a, a dump, right? Um, it was at 95.28. And, and now now it's down to 94, 90, um, uh, 47 on this chart. So, you know, the dollar took a dump on Friday, um, and I expect it to just continue to the upside as we get into our trading day today. So that's what's happening on a Friday. Like I said, I was not around. Um, so anyhow, let's get to it, and let's get to the charts. We're going to take a look at the euro as we do every Monday. So we'll start off with our top-down analysis here. So we can tell over here, this is our, uh, this is a daily chart, and you can see it is extremely um, bearish. Next to that, we have a four-hour chart, and it's uh, it's coming up to a, you know a significant area at the 1740, 1750 area. Looks like it's going to have a battle here. And when you go back to the daily chart, you can see that we're coming up on this 55 exponential moving average. Take a look down here on the Ikimuku. This is a one-hour Ikimuku chart. Um, this just looks bullish here to me. It's above the cloud. Um, our current price indicator is right underneath price. Our futures line is pointed to the upside. So, you know, this just looks like this is just going to make make a move. This, uh, this um, pink line here is the 200 exponential moving average that I added onto the chart. You can see that is pointed to the upside. So right at the moment, I would say that the euro is, 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 is um, neutral to bullish, right? More to the bullish side uh, as far as that goes. So let's get into some regular charts. That's not what I wanted. Oh, come on. Come on, charts. There we go. That's what I want. All right. And so let's get 
here. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> Anybody know what I'm doing? <laughs> yeah, uh, bright and early here today on a... What happened here? Oh, my goodness. All right, so we, we've uh, really burnt out on that euro. <laughs> we've checked that out as much, about as much as we can. Let's uh, take a look at the Great British Pound. Uh, same, you know, this is, of, of course, because of the dollar. Gets, and this is just, you know, heading up to the upside. The 10 EMA is right underneath price. You know, we, we had this support area, which held for a while, and then it just took off. Um, you know, what would I do here? I, I got to be honest with you folks, I don't think I would do anything. I just leave this alone and see what it wants to do. This to me looks like it hasn't made a decision yet. And we, you know, the, the good part of this is, you know, we have a nice wide open space to the back. There's really no price action, no price action junk around. Um, we got a couple of levels here, right? We can take this level and actually move it down to here. So we got a couple of levels, but you know, other than that, there's, there's, there's really nothing um, that I would want to be doing here, right? So really, if you brought this up to this, uh, 3150 area, right? Maybe we'll get a pop there to the downside of this 3150 area. Definitely want to sell it. I don't want to buy it, right? Don't want to buy it from here. And if you do want to buy it, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that because, you know, this is this really does look, um, again, same as the other one, neutral to bullish. So I, I wouldn't have a problem with that. I would just take this and fib this swing right here. And I'd wait for this to come back down to this 618 level at this 200. So we look for the bounce off of this uh, 200 to 3100, right? So 3110, maybe you can get in here on the uh, on the pound. 3110 looks good. You know, you could do a breakout of this resistance line. Um, maybe you can get a breakout and then a retest of it and then take that to the upside. Doesn't look like a bad bad idea either. Let's take a look at the uh, New Zealand dollar. Let's see what's going on with that. Mm. Now we're at the seven eight six. You know this fib is this this fib is well not really. This fib is really not valid anymore. This needs to come down to here. So no, this fib to me is not valid. So we'll just take we'll get rid of that. But we do have some issues here, um, some stuff going on here. Right, we'll just get rid of that. There's a nice resistance line there. You know, we'd love to sell it from there, right? We'd love to sell it from, from this area here and take it to the downside. You know, again, this looks bullish to me, right? You know, all these moving averages point to the upside. You know, it's time to go sideways here. You know, now we got two dojis back to back on this New Zealand. Maybe it's going to get weak. We could sell this. Myself, I'm, I'm not buying the Kiwi. <laughs> I'm not buying the Kiwi, folks. Um, I want to sell the Kiwi, right? I, I want to sell this. But listen, I'm okay. Listen, if it wants to get up to the 68.50 area, 68.40 area, hey, listen, I'm okay with that. Go for it. Keep going up. London open, an hour down and a half before London open. I'm always at my charts, getting ready, maybe even stick some orders in and, and wait for this to, to trigger out. We can we can do something here. So this doesn't look this does not look bad at all. Does not look bad at all. Uh, let's get over here and let's take a look at um let's take a look at the dollar Swiss. That's on a on a unusual non-move. <laughs> So this baby is just really taking the heat to the downside. Um, you know, what are you going to do with this, right? What, you know, if you, you're sitting at your chart saying, whoa, 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 what am I going to do with that? Yeah, just fib it. <laughs> when all else fails, just fib it. So we'll fib it, you know, maybe at the, the 382 you can take it back. Yeah, I mean, really... 
it just makes it just makes total sense to wait for this to come back up to this 200 area um, and and we'll, we'll take this back up to you know this 200 exponential moving average that is the wrong arrow folks it's a Monday it's okay and it's early by the way on a Monday <laughs> really it's uh, 650 currently oh come on 650 uh, in the morning which would be 1950 on a Sunday night on Wall Street. See, so, yeah, I just want to take that down in the downside. That just looks like the logical area. You can get here at the, at the 382. I don't think there's a problem there. Believe it or not, I think this this two this 23 fib right here. I think probably that's where it's going to drop at. That's at 99.40. That's, that's not a bad spot, really. You end up in another wide open space, depending on how far this goes down. You know, I wouldn't, I'm not into, into picking bottoms and tops here, right? We're going to trade this technically. And if you look at this technically, this just tells me this just wants to continue the downside. I don't see any reprieve here. And this is going to turn around and come up. We put a trade plan on the chart. We see what happens. You know, I want to sell it. I sh I'm not going to sell it here, right? We would never think about entering this trade right here. That's what we call chasing price. And that's what's going to get you in trouble, right? So we surely don't want to be doing that. So that is what's going on with the dollar. Swiss, let's take a look at the pound yen. Another one of my uh, good old friends. Yeah, look at this. Huh? Woo pound yen just dumping. Absolutely dumping. Nothing to do here. And I mean, not that we're not going to get a trade later. Um, but, right, we don't want to be touching this, right? So that would be a significant area right there. Like this is sideways, you would hope that this would give us a move to the upside. This is a great, great swing to fib, right? This just looks really great right here. We just fib that down to that low. You know, if you want to sell this, you do this at this um, at the 50 uh, fib level right here. We'll just sell that right there. Bam. Sell it right there. Don't want to do anything here, folks. It's just nothing to do here. If you want to take it to the upside, that's fine. There's no problem with taking it to the upside. But I, I will say that if you're going to take this to the upside, you, you want to make sure that you're going to take this to the upside. And this 10 EMA is absolutely above price, right? Right. We're not going to take it from the upside from here. We need, we need to clear these two EMAs. This 55 is pretty powerful. So you can see as you go up this chart, this 55 is, as you know, is held. So, you know, this, if we all going to, if you're going to buy this, you definitely want this 55 underneath price. So that tells me that we're, we're hours and hours away before this trade is going to, is going to come around and give us some kind of a clue of what we're going to do here today. So, you know, um, just to wrap some stuff, let's see what else, do we have anything else? Why don't we just take a look at the Aussie? Let's take a look at the Aussie. Good old Aussie. Yeah, this thing is just banging to the upside on this Aussie. Woo! Yeah, just banging to the upside, right? You know, what are you going to want to do here? Well, I want to sell it. <laughs> like, that's unusual, right? I want to sell it. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. What are you going to do? Yeah, so this is moving its way up here, but you know this is really this is really bullshit. You'd hope that this resistance level hits, but I mean, look at this, boom, boom, boom. It's just like all over the place. But you know, this is really volatile. This Aussie right now. Um, you know, if you looked at this spatially, really, this is just in a big range, right? You can range this. Boom. Here's another one. Boom. You know, you can stick another you can stick another horizontal line in here. All right. I, this is this is absolutely just you know you got all these areas now of interest that we can get into here and just float it around. Let's uh let's take a look at um, some ikimuku charts before we run. I know I've got them. There we go. So we talked about the euro dollar pretty good on that one. Hey, look at this pound, right? Remember we talked about the cloud. Don't trade inside the cloud, right? Look at this. Outside the cloud, one, there's your entry, there's your second candle outside the cloud. This thing just takes off. You know, just happens, it just takes off, just just works, right? All these pairs, look at this. 
New Zealand dollar in the cloud. We don't trade it. We don't trade it. We don't trade it. This one you might have got stuck on. You might have entered on this trade. But if you would have seen this red candle, you would have not traded it. You know, and then, then it gives you these little candles here. Easier said than done on this New Zealand dollar to get in this trade. This must have been something must have come out here. This thing just takes off. And you're still in this trade, right? You're still in this trade. There's no reason to get out of the trade. You're still bullish. Maybe you fib it and add to your position on this. Um, on the, I know we talked about this New Zealand, but you're right. So maybe you, you'd fib this um, here and... See, we don't have two to the right and two to the left, which I don't like, but okay. Right? So you fib this and you say, hey, listen, um, you know, maybe I want to add to my position, right? Maybe this is going to, maybe this is going to take a, a pullback. Here we are at the 786. Looks like a good level to do that. And we can take it to the upside. All righty. Maybe this 786, add to our position, right? Here's the, uh, support of the cloud right here you know you sure don't want to be in the cloud so you hopefully this position this re-entry gives you a, a move that's going to work there there we go so this just gives us an idea what's going on with that just keep watching these ikimuka clouds you're going to be amazed folks you are going to be amazed how accurate they are and it's like i said it's a great 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 trading tool all right, traders, thank you so much for being with me on this Monday. We will be back tomorrow on a Tuesday morning in Asia. Always remember to trade smart, not hard. We'll catch you tomorrow, my friends. Have a great trading day. Remember, it's a technical day today. No data, very little data today. All right, take care, my friends. See you now. Bye-bye.